You've probably heard that Panama has become one of the most popular expat destinations in the world. Hello everyone, this is Mariana and you are watching Panama Relocation Tours TV. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how Panama has become one of the most popular expat destinations in the world and what it's like to live there so you can answer the question of why you should move to Panama. Now, in case you don't know this, Panama was recently named one of the top places by International Living's 2021 index of best places to retire in. And Panama has great warm weather, it has a much lower cost of living, and it also helps that Panama encourages foreigners um, by offering certain tax incentives and a very easy residency program. Here are the top reasons why you should consider a move to Panama cost of living. So compared to most areas in other parts of the world, Panama offers an affordable lifestyle without sacrificing good quality of life. For example, there's a lot of natural beauty, a lot of really great fresh food, um, some really fun activities to do, all while keeping costs very affordable. However, your exact budget is going to depend on where you want to live in Panama. Some places like Panama City and Coronado are a lot more expensive than other areas like Volcan or David. Because a lot of you, I'm sure, are wondering what a person's typical monthly expenses are like, I'm going to share a single person's monthly expenses in Boquete. And keeping in mind that your expenses are probably going to vary the most around rent and utilities. to say that you can live very comfortably as a single person on $1,200 a month and about $2,000 a month for a couple. And this low cost of living is one of the main reasons that you should consider moving to Panama. Another reason you should consider moving to Panama is the weather. You can actually pick your ideal temperature based on the elevation in Panama. So for example, at sea level, the average temperature is between 85 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in Panama drops about four degrees per thousand feet in elevation. So just to give you an idea of this, David, the second largest city in Panama, is at sea level and it may be 90 degrees there during the day. But if you drive 30 minutes all the way to Boquete, which is at 3,500 feet, then you can actually experience weather in the 70s during the day. So it's a much bigger difference um, just by the elevation. But if having weather in the 70s is way too cool for you, then you can just move to a lower elevation and choose your ideal weather. So that's pretty neat, right? And weather is one of the main reasons that people end up moving to Panama. Another really interesting fact about Panama is that because it's about 600 miles away from the equator, it has a tropical monsoon climate, but it's actually outside of the hurricane belt. So it does rain a lot in Panama, but luckily, since the country is outside of the hurricane belt, that means that it doesn't get directly affected by any hurricane. Now, if you're wondering what the weather is like in most of Panama, the coastal areas in the north and south of Panama usually experience higher humidity. Um, the mountains running right down the center of the country remain drier and have more temperate weather year round. In Panama, there really are only two uh, seasons. The first is the rainy season and the other one is the dry season. The dry season runs between December and April, whereas it starts getting rainy between April all the way through December. Healthcare and health insurance is another reason why you should consider moving to Panama. Actually, if you talk to any expat living in Panama about their healthcare here, you'll get overwhelmingly good reviews. Most of the doctors at hospitals in Panama are trained in the US, and most of them actually speak English. Uh, most of the private hospitals in Pam Panama are very modern, they have excellent tools, and that really makes Panamanian healthcare of international standard. Now, Panamanian healthcare is a 
first class. So just because it is a fraction of the cost compared to what most of us are used to paying, especially in the United States, that doesn't mean that you won't get quality healthcare. Um, usually going to a doctor, you'll pay 10 to $20 out of pocket, and that's without insurance. I'm talking like you walk in, you don't have insurance, and you just pay for that doctor's visit 10 to $20 total. And because healthcare costs are so affordable in Panama, many expats living in Panama choose to actually self-insure. So that means that they don't buy health insurance and they just pay out of pocket whenever they seek medical attention. You can also use the public hospitals in Panama where it only costs about $2 to see a doctor and as much as $5 to see a specialist. And there isn't any type of monthly fee to use a public healthcare system. But if you do decide to purchase healthcare in Panama, then you can expect healthcare costs to be very low. Your premiums will be very low. Now there are a lot of different plans available in Panama, of course, depending on the type of coverage you want. But because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, to give you an idea of how inexpensive healthcare insurance is in Panama, one of our sources agreed to share her cost on a yearly basis. So this is a 65-year-old single female who pays $2,600 a year without any deductible in Panama, so long as she gets um, treated in Panama. And that also covers her internationally. Now there are other plans available where if you only seek treatment in Panama and you don't need to be covered internationally, you can pay as low as $100 a month if you're a 65-year-old single woman. So whether you end up self-insuring or end up going the health insurance route, one of the reasons that a lot of expats end up moving to Panama is because healthcare costs are so low while healthcare quality is very high. Another reason you'll want to consider Panama as a place you should move to is because it has a lot of established expat communities. Uh, foreigners from all over the world have discovered just how beautiful and vibrant and affordable the lifestyle can be here in Panama. And some areas have a higher concentration of expats than others. So like, for example, Panama City or Boquete have a higher concentration of expats living there. And this is super important because having a wide availability of other expats living in the area that you're going to be living in is gonna make your transition a lot smoother, especially if you can talk with other people in English, or if you can also meet other people who will sympathize with the things that you're having to adapt to. So the more expats that live around you, then the more activities that you can get involved with because usually um, the activities that you'll be interested in will be run by other expats. And also um, areas with a lot of expats tend to have more of the services and products that you're familiar with. There are also many areas in Panama that don't have any expats or very few expats living in them, so they can be just as valuable to you if you're looking to really immerse yourself in Spanish or in the Panamanian culture. But no matter what, when you live in Panama, you're gonna be so surprised at how many foreigners you meet from your home country and from other countries because like I mentioned earlier, Panama is becoming a very popular expat destination in the world. One more reason you should really consider moving to Panama is because of the beautiful nature there is. Not only is the weather nice and warm year round, but the beautiful landscapes that make up this amazing country are lush, green, and just simply amazing. Panama has miles and miles of coastland and white sandy beaches, and it also has rugged mountains, dense jungles, and a ton of different plants and animals. In fact, there are over a thousand different types of bird species in Panama alone, which is more than the US and Canada combined. And around the country, you can actually spot exotic birds in every single color and shape because of the availability of dense tropical forests. There are also sloths, howler monkeys, uh, coatis, and all kinds of different types of mammals that are very exotic, but very, very native to Panama. And that's honestly one of the biggest things that surprises people when they move to Panama is just how biodiverse it is. It truly does feel like paradise. You can actually experience mountains, waterfalls, hot springs, 
and the beach all in a single day. And lastly, the reason you should consider moving to Panama is also for its rich culture. If you love having new experiences, you'll never be bored in Panama. And that's because Panamanians are very proud of their heritage and their history. And there's always a really good reason to celebrate and throw a party or a fiesta. It almost seems like every month there is something going on in Panama in one of the 10 provinces. And some of the most important festivals include uh, some like Carnival, which is a huge festival in Las Tablas. It's a four day festival that brings thousands of people into the Las Tablas region. Uh, the flower and coffee festival in Boquete is sure to please your senses. There's lots of coffee and beautiful flowers from the harvest. Um, the Jazz and Blues Festival in Boquete is also very popular. It brings in performances from all over the world and it's hosted in this beautiful amphitheater with this gorgeous lush green background. So what's not to love? And there's also another jazz festival in Panama City. So there's a lot of festivals, a lot of celebrations. Panamanians love to party. They really go all out for Christmas. They do amazing and really great parades for um, Independence Day. I mean, it's a, it's a true rich culture type of country. So you'll never get bored in Panama. There's always something to see and something to taste. So all in all, Panama will give you a new adventure, a unique cultural experience, and a more affordable lifestyle. But I would love to listen from you and hear your comments, you know, why did you decide to move to Panama? And if you're deciding on still if Panama is right for you or not, tell me, did any of these reasons give you an insight that you didn't have before. So I would love to hear from you, comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get helpful videos like this. And we will see you in the next video.